Yo, what's up everyone, my name is Horn Dragon, but you can call me Julian, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to put games on your Easy Flash 4. First thing we're gonna do is download the necessary files. So we're gonna open our internet browser, open a new page here, and we're gonna go to easyflash.cn. I'll put the link in the description. From there, we're gonna head out to Downloads. We're gonna scroll down until we find Easy Flash 4 Lite slash Compact. And we're gonna download two things here. First thing first, we're gonna download the, the, the latest kernel firmware right there. And we're gonna save it on the desktop right now. Second thing we're gonna need is download the Easy Client. That's actually for putting the games on the device itself. Now, they're gonna be downloading. They're on the desktop. This one's done already, so I'm just gonna right click and click Extract Files, which will make another folder right here. If you don't own uh, WinRAR, by the way, you need to download it for this video, or you can also download uh, 7-Zip. They work uh, fine. Second file, same thing, Extract Files, and then it's uh, gonna make another folder. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got our update file and we've got our client right here. Okay. For now, I'm going to close both those windows. Now that we've got our download files ready and all set to go, um, we're going to take our SD card and put it into the computer, uh, which you will need an, uh, an adapter for. I myself am using a uh, SD adapter. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get this SD card ready for our games. Let's go and head out back to computer. From here, we're gonna click format. Right click format. Now you're gonna have to make sure that the file system is gonna be FAT, and not not FAT 32 or not XFAT. It needs to be FAT. The capacity, allocated unit size are probably gonna be fine. And we can call this something like Easy Flash 4 or something. And click Start. You'll have to know that everything will be erased from the disk. Uh, for me, that's fine. There's just uh, nothing important on there. And it's going to say Format Complete. Right. Now, if you own the Easy Flash and if you open the Easy Flash in your Game Boy and it looks something like a dark, dark, dark fader? What's? No, Darth Vader kind of skin. You'll probably need to update it. And that's why we've got here, we've got the update file right here. If you want to update the Easy Flash 4, you can follow me along that path. Or if you want to skip, um, if you want to skip forward to putting the games on the device, you'll, uh, I have to click an annotation on screen right now. Okay, for updating the Easy Flash 4, it's, it's fairly simple. We're gonna take this update bin file, we're gonna copy it, we're gonna go to our Easy Flash 4 cart right there. We're just gonna put it in. That's all. We're gonna close this, the update file is on the SD card. We're gonna go to safely remove hardware. We're gonna right click that. We're gonna eject the Easy Flash 4 card. Okay, now we're gonna head over to the Game Boy. Okay, we have our Game Boy, and here we have the Easy Flash 4. Now, take your SD card from your computer and put it in your Easy Flash 4. After that, put the Easy Flash 4 in your Game Boy Advance, but don't turn it on just yet. So now our update file is ready, and the card's inserted into the Game Boy Advance. We're gonna turn on the Game Boy. But we're also going to hold the air button. Right, you need to hold the air button until it's actually starting to write the file. So you're going to hold the air button while turning the Game Boy on until it says erasing OK. After that, it's just going to write the update file to the Easy Flash 4 
and you'll just have to wait for a little bit. As you can see, after that, it just opens uh, the Easy Flash 4. And since this Easy Flash 4 has uh, a game installed to the NOR, uh, it actually opens the menu. As you can see, there's really nothing else on there besides the up update file. Okay, that's it for updating. Now we're actually going to put some games on the Easy Flash 4. I'm going to insert it back into the computer. Take a while to, to read. Now, this map. Uh, has been created because there was uh, a game still on the NOR uh, RAM on my uh, or not RAM <laughs> there was still a game on the NOR memory of my Easy Flash 4 um, so you can delete it you can keep it whatever we can we're gonna start fresh so I'm gonna delete those two files right so now we're actually gonna start putting on games on Easy Flash 4 now I'm gonna open a file explorer and I'm gonna go to my games, to my Game Boy Advance games, and as you can see, I downloaded a crap ton of games already. So you're still gonna have to do that, and I'm not gonna provide any links for that legal issues and stuff. So get yourself some GBA ROMs; just it's, it's really easy to find them. And um, okay, then I'm gonna teach you how to put them actually on the Easy Flash 4. Right, so we downloaded two files earlier. One was the update file and the other one was the client. Now the client is actually everything you're gonna need to put games on the Easy Flash 4. So we're gonna open this map, and in this map there's a uh, language, skins, is uh, all kinds of stuff here. The only thing we're gonna need to do is open the Easy 4 client. You do not need administrator rights, but uh, you can always open it as administrator. It's gonna open this this little program right here. We're gonna go to Convic first. Uh, you do not need to install this really, but it it could be the case that it's not on English and that's really easily done by the Convic, which is the third button, and um, just put it to English. Second thing we're gonna need to make sure to do on this uh, on this box right here is make sure the send path is correct to the Easy Flash 4. So as you can see here my Easy Flash 4 is on the H. So my send path is correct. Otherwise you can just open something else. You can choose whatever it is. Just choose your Easy Flash 4, you know. Then click OK. Now that we've done this, there's nothing really to it. It's just we're gonna click open. It's gonna give us a um, an explorer window right here. And as I said, I'm going to go to games, where my games are stored, go to Game Boy Advance, and here we have my entire list of games. Now I'm going to choose my favorite game to put on the Easy Flash 4, uh, which, you know, my favorite game is Metabots Metabee version. I love that game. Just click the GBA file. As you can see, the supported files are GBA, BIN, NDS, DS, IDS, ZIP, or RAR. So you can actually also click this one doesn't really matter I'm gonna click the GBA file click open here you have a last chance to um, to adjust your ROM name file Metabots menu version is the correct name so that's fine now here's a little bit of technicality stuff the ROM size is obviously just the size of the ROM and it has a safe size and a, um, a safe size that is basically the safe type like it says right there. There are a few different safe types and it corresponds to how the game will actually save stuff. Uh, this is the reason why you need to put games on Easy Flash 4 with this client. If you just uh, click and drag games onto the SD card itself, some games are not going to run properly, some games are not going to save properly. Uh, I did this in, the, in my first unboxing video. Just drag some games on the East Flash 4 and the games ran well a couple of games ran but uh, for instance this this meta B version did not actually save this is why you need the client this is gonna this program is gonna select them automatically um, so you 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 want to keep this on the automatic setting this on the automatic setting you're gonna click this box right here Add save patch could be already ticked. I don't know. 
and you're also gonna set click reset reset is basically that the program is gonna read it again if you made sure that this is all correct click send it's gonna say send okay and here's your game now if we're gonna look on the SD card itself you see that it made a saver folder and it put the game on there the saver folder is is your is your pre-patched sort of thing save file on there which we selected by um, setting this so again I'm gonna click open I'm gonna go to another game let's say um, Pokemon Fire Rats pretty cool open it as you can see different ROM size different save type different save size make sure these two are on click send send OK OK now you've put some games on your Easy Flash 4. Remember that the Easy Flash 4 will only support up to about 80 games per directory. So let's say if you put 80 games right in the root of your uh, Easy Flash, it will it will read them fine. If it's 81, some games are not going to display correctly or whatever. You can easily manage that by creating a folder and I don't know, give it a name like from numerical to the M. Or whatever you know and, and categorize in that way you can easily avert the problem problem you can easily avert the you can easily avert the problem so that's basically it for putting files on easy flash 4 I hope this was this video was uh, was helpful to you and um, yeah if you like the video please like the video if you want to keep updated on all my videos please click the subscribe button below and I'll see you guys the next time peace